Uh, good morning. We got some much needed rain here to kick off the work week. And as we roll through Election Day and maybe even early Wednesday morning, the on and off showers and maybe even a thunderstorm or two may continue here in West Michigan. We're already at a half an inch in Grand Rapids, nearing a half an inch in Battle Creek as well. Some of the two communities with the largest deficit over the last two and a half months, Kalamazoo at a third of an inch in Muskegon, uh, the least needed for rainfall, uh, just at over a tenth of an inch. Some steady rain continuing in Iowa. County moving up into Montcombe County as well, but notice some drier pockets moving in off the lakeshore, Ottawa and Muskegon County going to be catching a little bit of a pause here for the rain. Kalamazoo County getting a pretty steady shower here. That's going to add to the Kalamazoo Airport here shortly uh, as that rain continues to move to the north and east. Uh, if it maintains, it'll head up towards Delton and up towards the Hastings area as well. Here we are in Montcalm County with the cloud cover and lower visibility. Again, these showers keeping our temperatures close to our dew points as the southeast wind has really driven up the moisture in the atmosphere. So dew points are right near 60 and temperatures are in the lower 60s as well. And that's uh, all thanks to the wind, which has been out of the south, south and east. But it's due south here today. And wind gusts at times are going to be upwards of 30 miles per hour. You can see the stronger winds will pick up this afternoon. We'll have gusts to 30. It'll quiet down a little bit overnight tonight, but then through the day Tuesday, again, Election Day, going to be our windiest, probably going to be our rainiest, at least at times. And with that, gusts will be upwards of 40 miles per hour as you're headed out the door to vote or as you're ending your day going to vote. It's going to be pretty persistent all day long. Notice the showers and thunderstorms in Oklahoma and Arkansas continuing to stream up to the north. Those are moving to the north and east, and it's getting into the cold enough air where it's snowing up in New York and into Canada. Thankfully, we're going to stay on the warm sector of this. It'll be all rain as it continues into the middle of the work week. This afternoon, we do anticipate a few showers to wind down. Kept a couple hours of dry air, but it should stay quite cloudy. We are looking at more heavy pockets of rain, even thunderstorm potential here tonight and early Tuesday morning. We do start to see a little more scattered nature of the showers as we go through the day on Tuesday. May not be an all-day rain, but some of those narrow bands could still lead to an, uh, an isolated thunderstorm. As we get into Wednesday, you can see it with the clouds. There's going to be a wind shift Wednesday. It's going to be some cooler air, but it's not going to be terribly cool. We're in the upper 60s, near 70 here today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we're 57. And if that's our coolest we get in the forecast, we're not doing so bad for mid-November. But here's the rainfall. Again, looking at another tenth to quarter of an inch here today. Then some heavier pockets tonight could lead to another half to three quarters of an inch. We'll carry that through Tuesday night and early Wednesday, and we could easily end up with another inch plus of rain from Grand Rapids to the north and west and lighter amounts south and east before the sunshine returns for the end of the work week.